Ah, final floor for the evening. So what's going on, Vexen? Your Riku was supposed to counter Sora. What's he waiting for? Where is he? He's hiding somewhere to lure Sora deeper into the castle, right? I suppose we should just leave it at that, you know. Aha! Oh, I see now. I would have never guessed that. So sorry, Vexen. Silence! Predictable response. Forget it. Men without hearts are so boring. You're one to talk. As if you have such a heart to speak of yourself. That's enough. Marluxia. Vexen. The simple fact is that your project was a failure. You'd best not disappoint us again. Disappoint you? You go too far! In this organization, you're number 11. I'm number 4 and I will not have you! <gasps> I've been entrusted this castle and Namine by our leader. Defying me will be seen as treason. Against the organization. Traitors are eliminated. I believe that's what the rules say. Who needs a half-baked good-for-nothing anyway? <gasps> Vexen, you cannot win against Sora. Pity to be so ignorant. As you're only able to see the surface of things, I should not expect you to appreciate my true might. Oh? Then let us watch as you prove it. What? None of us wish to be suspicious of a comrade. Your insincerity is comfort. You give a challenge like that to Vexen and he'll... seriously want to eliminate Sora. That would be an unfortunate denouement. What to do? Your hero is soon to be wiped from existence. But I believe there is a certain promise that he made you. Isn't that right, Namine? Yes. Wow, the top floor. We've got to that pretty high. And that must mean we've lost. Ten whole floors worth of our memories. Sora, it's still not too late. Don't you think we should turn back? Can't do it. Because that would break an old promise that I made. An old promise? What would that be? On the islands, I promised Namine that I'd keep her safe, no matter what. Once he was this far in, it... But... I forgot it. I didn't remember until I started forgetting everything else. A promise between the two of us. That's why I can't leave. Now that I remember the promise, I have to keep it. Of course. We understand, Sorrow. It is interesting how much Jiminy interacts with the party in this game. This is like the most vocal he is in the entire franchise. Before we go to Hollow Bastion, we're going to go down back to Wonderland. I forget where the key, where the Room of Rewards was in Wonderland, so I'm just going in through here right now just to check. It's all the way over there, which I think is by the exit. What I'm probably going to do um, in the Hollow Bastion, if I get a key to rewards in the first room, I'm just going to leave and use it. Oh, wait, why did I go into Olympus? That was dumb of me. You know what? The Olympus one's right here. I might as well just go grab it.
I'm just gonna use uh, blue cards, like safe blue cards. I just don't feel like fighting anything here. There's nothing in Olympus that I want, because the enemies here are gonna be too low level. And I'd rather not waste the time. I think it's a stop skill for um the Wonderland card. But yeah, um, if I get a key to reward still in the first room of Hollow Bastion, I'm just gonna leave and go get Wonderlands. Yeah. This should be the Metal Chocobo, if I remember correctly. Hey, I was right! And yeah, um, the Metal Chocobo ignores defenses, so, for example, say you attack the front of a large body, it will still hurt them. go. Last world of the night. Something seems wrong here. She does. Which is she supposed to? Take out the wizard with the keyblade because 
they will heal from any magic still. It, you can see what um, it means right there that um, it will pierce any physical guard. Because all my other attacks would have bounced off the defender's shield, but um, Mel Chocobo just ignores that and hits. Yes, I don't mind fighting the wizards nearly as much in this game as I hated fighting them in um, Kingdom Hearts 1. The reason why to put simply, well, in, a, in the simplest description, it's the fact that um, I can... Uh, I just used that on a goddamn shadow because I locked onto the wrong enemy. Because I'm um, being, I was gonna say the wizards. Uh, the wizards back in Kingdom Hearts One, when they use that thunder, when they cast thunder, you're just stuck waiting for them to finish casting. But in this one, one uh, you can break them and you're good. Uh oh, and that's gonna carry over. There. Oh, okay, first room. Yeah, let's dip out really quick and go back to Wonderland and get that room sealed up, uh, opened up. Okay, here we are, back in Wonderland. I don't remember what card is here. I forget if it's a card or ability. I'd like to say it's an ability, and I'd like to say it's related to stop. Yeah. yeah, so the Moogle Shop, like, the, car, the packs you can buy are based off the floor, but what's in them is... Based on your uh, end game, essentially. I have to start using any key. Uh, I have to start opening up the rest of the room just because of the fact that we are running out of floors. Like we're approaching end game. Yeah, it's synchro. This one, that ability is really situational. It's like the, uh, I believe it's the copy damage attack, uh, battle chip and battle network. It's okay, but situational is all hell. To be honest, yeah, I would say use the, uh, the main ones I would recommend getting that we've opened so far for the, um, rooms. Um. You definitely want 
off the top of my head, you definitely want the one. You want the Lionheart. You definitely want the Metal Chocobo. We lethal frame was from level, so that doesn't matter. And you're gonna want the one from 410, or at least from Hollow Bastion, because Hollow Bastion's is Mushu. I'll reveal that. It's pretty obvious. I did not expect just to get a cloud card from that. Let's go! Ever seen the wyvern card? What do you do? Oh, it locks yeah. the counter. Nice. get what you want. Now you're just here for the bed. Where are you going? Make up your mind. Fine, you're just here for the bed. Okay, let me help you. Come on. Get comfortable. Feel so loved. Comes in, looks at me, goes right to my bed and Curls up. Doesn't need me, just needs the bed. 
Shoot Swiss, if I remember correctly. I think there. No way, yeah, I, I remember. There is a Keyblade here, but it's not the Keyblade I think I thought it was for a second. Reflect Raid. Um, I was gonna say, I thought Oblivion was here as the Keyblade, but no, it's, um, Divine Rose. So many dead ends here. Okay, I'm gonna open up another Tom Bounty just so I can get the Keyblade card. Keep wanting to call that Keyblade yeah. the Rumble Rose, but that's because of, um, Kingdom Hearts 2. I forget if it's- is the Rumble Rose and Divine Rose any good? Powerful Strike, but slow to recover. There are better versions of it. Cards. Let's see what we got. Ooh, another Metal Chocobo. Won't complain about that. Not a bad pack. Get a couple Heartless so I can get some more experience. Is my HP at? It's at 200 even. Is this okay? Well, it is the room rewards. So pick a couple fights, see if I can get a key.
even 800. I think the cap for card points is 1,000, I'd like to say. I could be wrong. Well, now this game just does not want to give me this key. Gotta be kidding me! I got a shadow card, a shadow card before I got another key to rewards. Really? What I do to anger the game?
Okay, let's see. Okay, a blue card. Got plenty of those. Something that's a three or below. Moving darkness. And a key to beginnings. Hell, I think this is the longest it's taken us to use the key to beginnings. That's also just because the enemies in here have a lot of health. She is. Unsurprisingly, the villain of this world was Maleficent. I believe we already found the key to Guidance Room, right? No, we didn't. And not, I popped us up right by the uh, key, the awards, the rewards room, so. That's nice, at least. Too bad I don't have the damn card. It's fine, when I was younger, I used to think that the uh, higher number cards meant that they were more powerful. So I, I thought the zero cards were the weakest and the nine cards were the strongest. I now have a better understanding of how this game works. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, everything here is going to have a lot of HP. We're getting to that. Like, at the end game, you're going to have a lot of Heartless that we've seen early on, like the Shadows here. And they, they were weak before, and now they actually are taking a decent a couple cards to kill. God, it just will not give me this stupid card. Oh god, that broke cannon. Okay, but why do you want... Why? It's like, before it was to open up the, um, keyhole. Go get Bell's heart back. The key to truth. Oh, new heartless. These guys have become a little bit more common in um, Kingdom Hearts 2. But I forgot that this is the first game where they appear. Oh, it's an alchemical awakening. 
Why the fuck is it a chemical awakening? Why the fuck? I mean, I did use... Did I use a chemical awakening on the door? I don't think I did. Uh -huh. I don't know if it just randomly selects or how we got this going on. But we do! When the key to rewards is a lie, it doesn't exist anymore. There's no more in existence. another card. A zero for cloud is just a bad idea. Go add a third charge of the frame. this again okay this is where we started we're gonna have to cut through the sorcerer's awakening room and a uh, sorcerer's waking room and then we have a, a room I have to open still have three I'm now running three stop spells and it's not even four stop Thank you. 
Oh, it, fuck it, it's making me do it. It's making me use an alchemical waking card. Outside of just opening one of the story doors. Yeah. get through all of this and I still do not see another goddamn um key to reward. waking room it makes my deck near unstoppable time I'm gonna cop cast that spell. Huh? Huh. That was weird. Oh no. Was it because the enemy dive off stock?
in and hide it, which made her vulnerable again. So it's just for dark magic this time? Of course, we won't be fighting Maleficent in her normal form because that would be easy. Nah, nah. It's Dragon Maleficent. better than what they did when they did for this fight back in um, the Game Boy version. The way that this worked... Oh, right. Oh, right. Okay, Kira and the Elixir. Yeah, the way this worked back in the um, Game Boy version was instead of getting a platform to hang out on, you would just drop a rock in the center of the map for you to use. Heals me and then kills the boss. That was a bit of a gamble. I think 200 HP should be enough to get me through the game. Bell. Mm. 
It's just a sweet story. I mean, it's Beauty and the Beast. It's always been a sweet story. This is the last world of the set. Going through that door is going to be another boss fight. Because, I mean, that's how long it's been so far. I think I remember the next fight is. I'm going to do this. I'm going to fight this boss and then we're going to call it. Hey, Who up, it's Vexen. I am Vexen. I have come to collect your debt, Sora. A debt? Sora, do you owe something to this guy? Come on, of course not. Oh, but you do. You owe me for reuniting you with your former friend. Uh, you don't mean... Indeed, I do. I'm the one who brought Riku to you. Then... You're the one... You're the one who's been controlling him! What have you done with him? I see no need to give you information about where Riku is. After all... Why trouble you in your final hour? Now... This guy, Vex in here, is also a really hard fight because his shield will block all attacks from the front. It's like fighting the defenders with the large bodies. Sonic Blade will ignore this. So will Le uh, Lethal Frame. Plays, I'm gonna taste in this. This is it. Let's go. And back to Sonic Blade spam. Welcome to how I play Endgame for um, Chain of Memories. As long as it's a human type boss, this is essentially all I do. Sure that was gonna hit. I've had enough of this. Nope. You are 
pushing it. <laughs> oh, I almost had him. I am hitting a little bit of burnout because there's, there's a lot of stuff I gotta keep track of chain of memories because I gotta keep track of combos, numbers, and to make sure I have the right cards to use the right abilities. As I, I will say, the card system is probably the one that pushes me a loop the most out of any of the systems because I have to keep on top of everything. And we're done. Oh god, that, that last one was a little close. Like I said, Chin of Memories Endgame is the one that it, I have to concentrate the most in because I have to keep track of, you know, number combinations for combos. I have to keep track of um, how many cards are left in my deck and how many build um, items I have As left. As I expected, you weren't one to die very easily. Oh, fuck you too. As if I'd ever lose to you. I wouldn't be so sure. Did you even notice? I was delving deep into your memory as we fought. And here, look what I found. A card crafted from all the memories that are locked in the other side of your heart. Oh. Strange card. Wait! A world we've never been to before. Memories in the other side? We've learned the freeze ability. Twilight Town. So we're actually gonna head back and save here. That, that's what we're gonna be calling stream for the day. Tomorrow we will be finishing. Um Kingdom Hearts read Chain of Memories, at least Source Story. And I think I was originally in my head I was gonna just do reverse rebirth as one stream again like I did last time. I think I'm gonna break up reverse rebirth this go around. Just so it's more consistent. But with that though, 
I hope you all enjoy the rest of your night. I hope if you're watching this on the YouTube side, if you want to see us playing live, I am always streaming over on Twitch. The link to that is, as always, in the description. Um, pretty much all my content over on YouTube is live, and if you are tuning into the stream for the first, first time and would like to catch up on what you missed, all the previous streams and videos of the playthrough are up on YouTube. With that, I will see you all later.